seal unsealed. The twin gates of heaven are opening. The twin gates of the earth are swinging wide. was the first city, the city of cities. Homer named it the city of a hundred gates. For a hundred trumpets sounded its fame. Listen to the sounds of Karnak. The silence was deceptive, since the city, for 20 centuries, has resounded so much to the sound of song and harp that it was almost alive with music. Naturally, there are the baser tasks of the city, 
the crowded farmyards, the laden trellises, the papyrus presses, and the nobler tasks, the working of gold and silver, the polishing of the columns, the fashioning of the sandstone blocks. But above all, there is the fabulous machinery of the universe. For God is in charge and is responsible for the functioning of the world. Upon the terraces, priests, astronomers, observe the movement of the stars, are responsible for eclipses of the moon and the rising of the sun. Other wise men, bending over their desks, keep the maps of the empire up to date, and the much more complicated maps of the kingdom of eternity. Watching over the furnaces, others supervise the mysterious metallurgical union of silver and gold into an electrum, whose shining wax would glow the obelisks. Look now, over the river to the west bank, where the sun sets every evening behind the Valley of the Kings. It is the shore of the dead, the beginning of the beyond. If some lights are still shining in the necropolis, it means that the embalmers have made their work. Their patron is Anubis, the somber god who prowls like a black dog around the cemeteries. Their god is a silence. Their god Ammon no longer existed. Even his name was effaced from the monuments. The new god was called Aton. The heretical pharaoh took the name of Arken Aton, devoting himself to his new worship, his poems, his prophecies, his new city of El Amarna. And Karnak seemed to be relegated to the shadows. But the, the new religion lasted it only as long as it is mental. The chisel, ruin, and fire all conspired to obliterate his image. The new pharaoh was a child. This child was to restore the ancient worship. He rekindled the thousand lamps of the abandoned temples of Karnak. He took the traditional name. And if his earthly life was short since he died in his adolescence, his posthumous glory eclipses that of all the others, for his name is Tutankhamun. 